Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rocky Mountain Association for College Admissions Counseling. We've got an exciting session today. Before we get started, we'll go ahead and cover a few housekeeping items. Note that if you have any questions, you can get them answered by using the Q&A button to type your questions to the presenter at any time. Also note that your camera and microphone are off so our panelists can't see or hear you. Be advised as well, we have additional sessions available on the StriveScan website. So if you have interest in another institution, you can go ahead and sign up at your earliest convenience. Note as well that a recording of this session will be made available about five days after the call on the StriveScan website at strivescan.com slash RMACAC. With those items behind us, we'll turn it over to our first presenter from Ames Community College. Thank you for that. I'm going to go ahead and get the presentation going. So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jaime Gonzalez. Um, I am the bilingual admission counselor for Ames Community College, and I'm stationed out at the Fort Lopen campus. Um, I speak Spanish as well. If anybody does have any questions in Spanish or English, go ahead and let me know. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and start off with is talking about what we offer. So at our community college, we offer Associates of Arts and Associates of Science. These are generally um, degrees that you're going to try getting transferred for. So for example, you're going to go ahead and transfer to a four-year university. You can get the, your first two years here and then transfer over. We also offer the Associates of Applied Science that typically is made for specifically to go straight um, into the workforce right after. Take a little bit more than the two-year mark. It's about two years and a half. Um, but then we also offer the certificates such as the CNA or the CDL license, which can take up to a semester or a bit less. Here are some fun facts about our school. So some of those fun facts is going to be that 59% of the of our students are female, 41 are male, 57 Caucasian, 32 Hispanic, 11 are other. Um, and as the age, we can see that there's people that are under 18, and there's also people that are over 72 years old. So you can see there's a variety there. Um, we do include free parking, and our class size is average of 16 students. With COVID, it might be a bit smaller, um, but we're working on getting those classes back and running um, to the full capacity. We are accredited, affordable, and transferable, um, which basically means it's good access. Um, we offer about 40,000 plus daytime, evening, and weekend and online courses each year. Um, we serve about 9,000 students every year. We have 200 plus degrees and cer certificate options. Some of the tuition rates, as you can see here, are gonna be the lowest in the state. Um, you're going to be looking at a total of 2010 for the whole year if you are considered in district. If you are not, though, you are looking at about 3,180. Some of our courses might change. Um, they might change a little bit of rate for the reason that fire science, communication media, surgical technology, sterile processing technology, aviation, radi radiological techs, nursing, and automotive. Those are a little bit more expensive. They're more hands-on, more equipment. Um, so that's why they're a little bit more pricey. We have five campuses. So our campuses break down in Windsor, which is gonna be focused in law, public safety, um, and criminal justice, and automotive. Then we have online, which is gonna be most of our general courses, and some of our other courses are gonna be offered online as well. And then we have Fort Lupton, which is gonna be agriculture, science, and technology, commercial driver license, and the, our welding degree. And then Greeley is gonna be our biggest and our main campus, it's gonna be the Business, STEM, Human Service and Education, Technical Science and Skilled Trade, Welding, Aviation, Have Careers, Art and Communication, Criminal Justice, and in our Loveland, we focus on computer and digital art as well as general education. Um, a good thing to know is that we have an alliance with UNC called AIMS to UNC. It's a great program. You do have to apply for it, though. It's basically getting AIMS students to be able to have that sweet transition over to UNC when they want to get transferred. Um, you, it's a pre-application, advising from experts, cross-trained um, staff, and streamlined transition courses, more scholarship opportunities, and access to UNC services, events, and clubs, such as their football, basketball games, and also their dorms. And here is our contact information. If you want to take a quick picture, screenshot, um, I'll go ahead and put my contact information as well in the chat. But if you have any other questions, um, let me know at the end of the panel. And that's all for AIMS. Thank you. Thank you. We're on to our next institution, the University of Northern Colorado. Hi, everyone. Sorry, just trying to pull up my PowerPoint really quick. It is not that one, this one. 
Awesome. Okay. Hi again, my name is Leah Schultz. I am the Regional Admission Counselor at the University of Northern Colorado. And I'm very excited to be here today and presenting with you. And so a little bit about UNC in general is most of our student population comes from in-state. About 87% of our students come from Colorado. And then 7% of our students come from Wooly State, which is states west of us. And then about 6% of, of our population comes from out of state. Um, we offer over 100 different undergraduate degrees that you can do. Some of our top ones include sport and exercise science, communications, nursing, and um, we are also well known for our education department. We've been teaching teachers how to teach for over 130 years. So definitely know what we're doing there. And one of the things that's really important at UNC is a hands-on learning, hands-on education, and being able to have that experience as a student. Um, and so we are really, we, we really support hands-on education. Um, uh, about an average class size at UNC is gonna be about 27 students. And we have a 17 to one student to faculty ratio. This is really important because it's, for us, it's really important for students to be able to connect with their peers, as well as connect with their faculty um, and make those relationships so that you can have a personal relationship with your professor. Um, as a UNC alumni, one of the biggest things that I thought was great was that out of all of the classes that I took, only, like maybe one of them was led by a graduate assistant or a teaching assistant. So our professors at UNC are really there to teach. Um, about 57% of our seniors participate in an internship or field experience um, or student teaching. And then again, some of those top five majors, we've got business administration, nursing, elementary education, psychology, and sport and exercise science. So for UNC, we are located in Greeley, Colorado. It's just about an hour north of Denver. Um, within Greeley, we've got 21 miles of the Poudre River Trail. If you like to be outdoors, we do a lot of live music in the city of Greeley. Um, we also have the UNC Greeley Jazz Festival and um, Friday Fest and a lot of different farmers markets. So the university and the city of Greeley are both very welcoming, um, diverse, and really have a great relationship as a city and a university. Um, so I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about the University of Northern Colorado. That's my contact information if you'd like to send me an email. And um, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. We're on to our next presenter from the University of Colorado at Boulder. Awesome. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andrew Garcia. Happy to be here to be the presenter for University of Colorado Boulder. Awesome. So a little more about CU Boulder. So we've been consistently uh, voted and rated one of the top college towns in America for the last 30 years plus. Uh, and actually in 2020, Boulder itself was considered the best place to live in America. So that's something we're very proud of. And then people think, oh my gosh, CU Boulder, you have 34,000 students. It must be so large. You have all these large lecture halls. Well, actually our average student to faculty ratio is 18 to one. Uh, and for many classes, it's even less than that. Uh, and also we have many different colleges and programs. We have a hundred different majors overall, and we have very unique colleges and academic programs which leads us to over 4,000 courses of study here at CU Boulder. Uh, and we offer the largest study abroad programming, uh, partnering with 66 different countries. And that's certainly something we wanna go back to as we head into a post COVID world. Also, what's really exciting is we have 525 plus clubs and organizations at CU. So everyone has their own community, whether that be a ski club, we have a, a pancakes and laser tag club. We have a bowling club. We have a bowling alley under our bookstore. So a lot of cool things. We'll, we'll definitely find a few clubs for you here at CU. So this is just highlighting some of our different colleges and programs. So we have our College of Arts and Sciences, which many of our students will come into as psych psychology majors, history majors. And then we have our College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. So we have 18 different disciplines within the College of Engineering, ranging from mechanical, 
aerospace and engineering, uh, different types of programs there. And then of course our LEED School of Business, which is one of our other top programs as well. A lot of our students will actually get to go to Europe in their first year and be business consultants. So that's a very unique aspect about our business program at CU. And then just our other programs here, School of Education, College of Media Communication Information, College of Music, and then Program in Environmental Design. So we've actually had some of our students who graduated from environmental design actually design our buildings here at CU. So we certainly believe in the students we educate. So yes, we have all these courses. As you saw, we have over 4,000 different courses. So we want you to be balanced. Boulder is a very outdoor town. It's a very friendly, uh, fun community. Uh, bike trails, lakes, mountains, skiing, hiking. So we certainly want you to have that balanced lifestyle and Boulder definitely can provide that for you. So this is just a snapshot of the beautiful Boulder Valley. Here you can see our CU football field where our football team is, uh, is always playing in the fall and that's where our graduation ceremony happens. That is certainly one of the most exciting aspects for our students is walking into Folsom Field on graduation day. Uh, canyoneering is a very fun activity. Uh, we actually have a rec center, which is super exciting, ice ring, 10 basketball courts, and a lot of other outdoor activities, as you can see there. And this is just a nice view. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty close to Red Rocks Amphitheater, which is down in Golden, and we certainly have our own uh, Red Rocks in the Boulder community as well. So just some snapshots on some of the data. So our just average GPA, percentile rank, ACT and SAT, Average scores, we have, we were test optional last year and we will most likely be test optional for the next coming school year as well. But what we do offer is a four year tuition guarantee. So all four years at CU, you will pay the exact same tuition rate. So uh, we will never raise your tuition rate. So the moment you start with us, that is your flat rate for all four years at CU. And then of course, uh, uh, coming to CU is, a, is, a, is an investment and we understand that. So we want to focus on the outcomes at CU. So we partner with various companies and organizations such as Disney, NASA, Teach for America, Twitter. Uh, so these are just some of the large companies that we have relationships with and students are able to connect and do internships in their junior and senior year to certainly have job opportunities upon graduation. So we certainly encourage you to follow us on, on social media. We have student takeovers. Just don't hear it from your admissions council here. Definitely check us out on Instagram. We're very active there. And you can certainly just learn more about all the clubs and activities, the Greek life, uh, just everything that comes with the CU Boulder experience. And you can certainly check us out ahead of time. Um, so there's my contact information, Mr. Andrew Garcia. Uh, thank you all so much. And uh, I'll pass it on to the next person. Thank you. We're on to our next presenter from Colorado Mountain College. Thank you so much. And my name is Sierra Verberg, admissions rep at Colorado Mountain College. And I want to welcome you to learn more about CMC. We hope that you find inspiration in the mountains in the same way that we do. So what can you expect at CMC? Colorado Mountain College has the most affordable bachelor's degree in Colorado while offering small class sizes ad averaging 15 students per class. CMC has many programs and opportunities with five bachelor's degrees, 50 associate degrees, and over 60 certificate opportunities that can all be achieved in the Rocky Mountains with low tuition. CMC has 11 campuses located across the mountains of Colorado. The college district area and service area cover 12,000 square miles, three national forests, six wilderness areas, and most of Colorado's major ski resorts. Three of the campuses are residential where students can live on campus and have many student activities. At CMC, there are clubs, game nights, student government, and other leadership opportunities, as well as supportive community for our students to live and thrive in. These three residential campuses are located in Leadville, Spring Valley at Glenwood Springs, and Steamboat Springs. All of these three locations provide students very different yet equally amazing opportunities and beautiful environments to study in. 
Leadville is a historic mining town sitting at 10,200 feet above sea level, which makes it the highest elevated city in the United States. It is home to the CMC cross country team, and the campus is surrounded by miles of trails, including the Mineral Belt Trail running right from campus, which is a great place for our cross country team to train. And it houses, it houses the unique CMC program ski area operations. Also popular at this campus is our outdoor recreation leadership program and our natural resource management program. Our Steamboat Springs campus is a beautiful ski town with views of Steamboat Ski Resort visible from every angle of campus. It is also just a short walk from downtown Steamboat Springs. CMC Alpine Ski Team is based at this campus and competes at the Division I level. It is an excellent place to study bachelor, the Bachelor of Art in Sustainability Studies with our Bear Park Permaculture Garden on campus or pre-engineering where students design and construct a haunted house every year. Also in Steamboat is our exciting ski and snowboard business or our hospitality and resort management programs with endless hands-on opportunities. Spring Valley is located between Glenwood Springs and Aspen and in the Roaring Fork Valley, it's known for any kind of outdoor sport that you can find. The Spring Valley campus had some recent updates with a new welcome center, outdoor leadership center and field house, which has the tallest climbing wall on the Western slope. It also has a fully renovated student center. This campus houses our Isaacson School of Communication, which is comprised of digital media, graphic design, photography, and theater. Also popular at this campus is nursing and our veterinarian technology program with a 220 acre farm serving as our students classroom. Additionally, there are eight community campuses where students can study any number of CMC's innovative programs, but they do arrange their own housing at these locations. Education is affordable at CMC while the quality is high. In district, students live close to our CMC campuses in our designated district areas and enjoy tuition that is only about $2,700 per year with a full cost of attendance at 14,391 when a student lives on campus. In state, students cover the rest of Colorado with tuition at about $5,700 and the full cost of attendance at 17,830. Scholarships and financial aid are available. Admission at CMC is open access where all students are accepted and the application is free to complete with no deadline. There are no essays and no recommendation letters required and we are also test optional. Learn more about Colorado Mountain College at coloradomtn.edu to find out how you can have an exciting and successful future with the help of CMC. You can connect with me more on CMC on social media, and you can also reach out to me, Sierra or Jill. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. We're on to the Colorado School of Mines. All right, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Luke Contreras. I'm one of the assistant directors in the Office of Admissions at Colorado School of Mines in beautiful Golden, Colorado. I uh, hope you all are doing well and enjoying this awesome opportunity to hear about so many great universities. Colorado School of Mines is located in Golden, Colorado. Golden is a cool mountain town, just about, 50, about, about 25 miles, uh, 25 minute drive outside of downtown Denver. Golden is tucked in this perfect a quaint mountain valley, but part of that large Denver metropolitan area. So you truly get the best of both worlds when it comes to that cool community, but also the big opportunities and amenities of a big city, uh, such as uh, Red Rocks, uh, which is an amphitheater um, about 10 minutes south of campus, which is one of the best places to catch a concert if you're like, if you're a big fan. Luke, I think you've muted yourself. If you want to go ahead and unmute, there you go. 
I don't know. Back what at it. I, but we've only been on Zoom for a year, so you'd think I'd be able to figure that out. I apologize for that, folks. Uh, so at Minds, we use a phrase called we dig tradition, but we're not traditional. Um, we are a little bit nerdy. We're a little bit different because all 39 of our majors fall under the umbrella of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as a really cool uh, economics and business program. So potentially, if you want to be the next, next great mechanical engineer or uh, environmental engineer, or potentially join one of our new degrees, like the quantitative biosciences and engineering degree, which is a great pre-med as well as biomedical engineering style degree. You'll find a lot of great opportunities to explore what it means to be a STEM professional um, at Minds. At Minds, we are a tight-knit community of 6,500 total students, 5,000 undergrads, 1,500 graduate students. We are we represent almost all the states in the United States of America. And you will get to interact with all these different folks and hear about all their different journeys and what brings them to minds. We have almost 400 clubs and organizations that range from fraternities and sororities to pre-professional clubs that do a lot of great networking um, in your future industry. We even have an explosives engineering club uh, for folks that like to you know, blow stuff up. Uh, they even designed the fireworks show for our annual E-Days celebration. One thing Minds truly prides itself on is the connection to industry, right? Going to college sets you up for an amazing future beyond the four-year adventure uh, at a university. So getting you the opportunities to do internships, opportunities to interact and get some great professional development, as well as truly allow you to have some great hands-on learning. Throughout your four years at Minds, you're going to have the opportunity to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty. During your freshman year, you're going to do something called Cornerstone Design, which is a class that is all about solving a real-world engineering problem. Uh, this year, the engineering problems that our freshman Cornerstone Design classes were solving were developing more efficient COVID-19 masks. Uh, that we could wear that would be able to uh, filter the virus as well as you know allow for maybe a better breathing capabilities. And then another problem or another thing that they were solving this year was developing winter sports recreational parks for folks with physical disabilities. So how do you develop a cool park with skiing and snowboarding in mind for folks of all different physical abilities? Um, after that, your freshman year, you're going to field session, which is almost like an academic internship where you get to explore your major and the practical nature it has in the professional realm. If you want to get involved in research and be at the forefront of real world, solving real world problems, there are great opportunities there at Minds for you. And Capstone is an awesome culminating senior, to senior year project where you could maybe be on a Formula One design, uh, Formula One race car design team. Maybe you'll be converting a VW bus from gas to electric um, or any other great problem or great, um, great challenges and problems that you can take advantage of in your capstone design project. When applying to minds, we look at students of all backgrounds. We use something called a holistic review, which means we're going to look at where you're from. We're going to look at the classes you took in high school. We're going to look at the difficulty of the classes you took in high school. Rigor is important to us. We're going to look at what were you involved in? Were you on a sports team? Were you working? Were you volunteering in your community? We really want to get to know the who behind you. Uh, there's not one type of student that goes to Minds. Um, you'll find people from all different backgrounds and all different involvements from Eagle Scouts to football players to um, thespians to band members to folks that were just passionate about serving others. You'll find all folks that come to Minds and take this STEM education to serve others. Um, something exciting for this year, we are joining the Common App. So if you're a current junior about to apply to college, we are joining the Common App. If, if you're not familiar with the Common App, definitely hop on their website, check it out, as well as ask your high school college counselor about what the Common App is and how it makes applying to college a little bit more efficient. Um, we, similar to CU Boulder, we, we do anticipate being test optional this uh, upcoming application cycle. So really we're gonna look at where you're from, your high school, your curriculum. And the most important thing is thank you very much for logging in this evening. Um, we are excited to welcome you to our campus. Luke, thanks so much.
We're on to our next institution, Adams State University. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kaylee, and I am the admissions counselor for all um, Western undergraduate exchange states besides Colorado. Um, so I represent Adams State University, and we're located in Alamosa, Colorado, and our website is adams.edu if you'd like to learn more about us. So um, Adams State right now has about 1,900 undergraduates and about 1,100 graduates. However, only about 2,000 of our students are on-campus students. Our average student-faculty ratio is 16 to 1, um, and you can expect to have about 20 to 25 students in your classes your freshman and sophomore year, and about 10 to 15 students when you get into your junior and senior year. 17% of our students are the first in their family to attend college. 37% of our students are Hispanic and 61% of our students are students of color. We are located in Alamosa, Colorado, which offers 320 days of sunshine per year and is a, a small town of about 10,000 permanent residents. Um, we're about 40 minutes north of the New Mexico border and about two hours from Durango and about two hours from Pueblo. Uh, we are a gateway to the endless outdoor adventures of the San Luis Valley, as well as the Great Sand Dunes National Park. We're also about an hour and a half from two different ski resorts as well. Um, we currently offer 30, 23 majors with over 60 emphasis areas to choose from, including pre-professional programs such as pre-law and pre-med. Um, our most popular programs right now are business, kinesiology, sociology, psychology, biology, and nursing. Um, we also have some pretty unique programs such as our food studies program and our outdoor education and stewardship program. Um, the most recent graduating class for our nursing program had a 100% first time pass rate for the NCLEX and about 73% of our teachers in Alamosa and the local area hold their degree from Adams State. For athletics, we are NCAA Division II, and we do compete in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. We currently have nine men's and nine women's sports, including our two non-NCAA sports, which are cheer and esports. We currently have 263 individual national champions, 64 team champions, and over 1,800 All-Americans to our name. Um, we are very affordable. If you're from Colorado, your tuition and fees for the year is going to be $9,560, and that inc that's included with COF. Um, if you're from New Mexico, you will automatically qualify for in-state tuition, um, and that's going to be $10,520 per year. And if you're from any other WUI state, you'll, um, it'll be $15,632, and I've included the non-resident tuition rate, so you can compare those. Our average room and board is about $9,000 per year, and that includes our most popular dorm room with our most popular meal plan. We have a couple automatic scholarships. So if you're from Arizona or California, we do have an Arizona resident, Arizona California resident scholarship, which is $2,000 per year. Um, and our two automatic merit-based scholarships are the presidents and the vice presidents. Presidents is a 3.9 cumulative GPA and above, and that's 3,000 a year. Vice Presidents is a 3.25 cumulative GPA and above, and that's $1,000 per year. We also have over 175 scholarships you can apply for in um, our scholarship database, and that's going to be due February 1st of your senior year, as well as every single year after, so you have plenty of opportunities to apply for more funds. 92% of our students are awarded financial aid, and our average grant and scholarship award is $7,000 per student. Our average work study award is $3,000 per student. Um, we, our applications do not close until August 1st, so there's still plenty of time to apply if you're a senior. You can head to adams.edu slash apply to start that process. And our waiver code is ASU free app. Um, and if you're a junior, um, applications will open up for you on July 1st, and you can still use that fee waiver code and we'll just need your official high school transcripts. If you're a senior, we're not requiring test scores. If you'd like to reach out, um, my contact information is listed here. I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for listening. Thank you. We appreciate it.
quick panel tonight. So in the time we have left, we're gonna ask our panelists to weigh in on the following topics. The first question, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? We'll start back at the top with Ames Community College. Hello, so the advice I would give someone that's going through the college search process is find a school that you feel comfortable with, find a school where, you know, you feel like you're at home, where you feel that you'll enjoy the clubs that there is. Um, just do a quick search, see what clubs there are. And from my point of view, just uh, make sure that you feel at home. And when you're at the school, be at um... Thank you. We'd ask our panelists to enable their video as they're giving their answer. Up next, University of Northern Colorado. Yeah, I would like to say my recommendation is if you have a few colleges that you want to apply to, or a few institutions, just apply to those. You don't need to feel the need to apply to like 10, 15, 20 different universities. If you really only have a handful that you are really actually interested in going to. Um, I would also say that make sure you visit the campus if possible. Um, UNC is offering in-person tours right now. I'm hoping a lot of other institutions are going to start offering them. But if you have the ability to, visit as many campuses as possible. Thank you. University of Colorado, Boulder. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Leah. That's, that's great uh, to certainly visit the campuses. Uh, I know for CU, we're going to be opening campus visitations here very soon. So that's, that's great. We haven't had a, an actual tour in over a year. Uh, so we're very excited about that. Um, I would also just maybe reach out to other students, maybe who graduated before you, a cousin, family member, uh, just about their experience as well. I think it's important to maybe connect with current students and former students who could definitely just kind of give you some insider information on their actual experience. Thank you. Up next, Colorado Mountain College. Thank you. Yes, I would echo, you know, what a few others have said. Um, definitely take the time to go visit campus. It's very important to feel at home when you get onto campus. I would also say affordability is something that is very important. Um, somebody, you know, take it from somebody who has a little bit of student loan debt, um, you know, saving some money when you attend college is very important. So definitely take a look at that sticker price. Um, and yeah, we are open for visits and tours. So definitely come check us out. Uh, the only other thing I would quickly mention is maybe have an internship you went within your first few years of college, you definitely want to have that experience the sooner the better, um, rather than waiting till your fourth year and then realizing this is actually not what I signed up for. So that's what I would say. Thank you. Up next, Colorado School of Mines. I would definitely say my number one piece of advice is own the college search process. I know it's really tempting to have family do research for you or have like your family's your legal guardian do research for you or fill out the application for you or reach out to the admissions office for you. Don't you do it. This is an awesome opportunity to, you know, really choose your own adventure, really kind of, you know, maybe you've gone to the school in your neighborhood your entire life. Now you get to like view your future. So own it, enjoy it. Um, and yeah, just take this opportunity to really try to find where you feel that you belong. Last but not least, Adam State. Um, I would definitely recommend asking lots of questions um, and not just to your admissions counselor, but different apart, uh, departments across campus because you can never be too informed. Um, and I would also recommend if possible, um, when you come for a campus visit, if you can talk to any student employees in the admissions office, they can give a really unique perspective or you can always contact the admissions office and have um, ask them if any of the students can answer your questions because it really can help to hear from a current student about what campus life is like. Thank you. We're on to our second question. What is your favorite event or tradition on campus? Again, starting at the top with Ames Community College. So my favorite event um, or tradition on our campus is gonna be for um, every, uh, 4th of July, we do this thing where we go ahead and um, allow our students to go ahead and put flags in memory of any soldier that passed away. Um, and we typically do that through the month of July. We go ahead and leave that out there for students to go. And it's amazing to see how many people from the community and from the schools 
you know, join this event to um, do something memorable for the veterans. Thank you. Up next, University of Northern Colorado. Yeah, one of my favorite events um, as a UNC alumni as well is our welcome week. So we do a huge welcome week um, for all new and incoming students. And one of our best things I would say is a taste of UNC. So we kind of make it carnival style. So we do a huge like spread out on all all different lawns that we have here at UNC. Um, and then we just got a bunch of really good food that you can go and eat and meet new people. Um, usually it'll have a theme. So I think that um, our welcome week is definitely one of our best events. Thank you. Up next, University of Colorado at Boulder. One of my favorite traditions on campus is uh, just before our football games, we have Ralphie the Buffalo. And I think it's just such a cool experience to be in the Folsom Field and uh, Ralphie and the Handlers just taking off and just the energy in Folsom Field. Uh, so we're definitely excited to, to get back to the football season here coming up. But that is definitely one of my favorite traditions. Thank you, Colorado Mountain College. One of my favorite traditions is our Sky Club at our Steamboat Springs campus. Usually, well, every year they put on a haunted house. So Sky Club is typically comprised of our engineering students and they create a really fun haunted house to raise money for a scholarship. Um, and it's a really fun event every year. It's very, very different every year as well. And that's just one of my favorites. Up next, Colorado School of Mines. Yeah, so my favorite tradition at Mines is called the M Climb. And if you look really closely at my virtual background, there's a white M on the side of the hill. Um, in Golden, there's this big white M, it stands for Mines. And so when you come to Mines your very first weekend, you're gonna do something called the M Climb. Uh, we require that all first year students bring a 10 pound rock from home. Very random, I know, but you're gonna bring that 10 pound rock from home and after you move into your residence hall room, we actually march all of our incoming students up to the M. You take that rock with you. Uh, the route that you take is lined by current students, passing out snacks, passing out water, cheering you on, singing the fight song. Uh, you'll probably sing the fight song. You'll probably hear them sing the fight song like 300 times as you make this uh, winding hike up to the M. You'll get a welcome hard hat. Every first year student gets a hard hat on that M climb too. You'll get to the M, you'll place your rock there, and then you partake in the ceremonial painting of the M, which usually just ends up in a paint war because there's giant buckets of paint and people throw gobs of paint at each other. And it's a fun tradition to welcome you to campus. And then fast forward to your senior year, um, we actually bus all graduating seniors back up to the M and you actually get to go and take a rock with you. So it's kind of cool. You bring a piece of home with you when you come to Mines, and then you take a piece of minds with you when you go on that next journey, whether it be that first job after graduation or grad school. So uh, that is our favorite tradition. Thank you, Adam State. Yeah, we have a really awesome student-led club called Adventure Programs. And so they put on multiple events um, throughout the year where students will all go on group um, adventures throughout the Samus Valley. So just hiking, kayaking, stuff like that. And I just think that's a really awesome way since the Samus Valley is really well known for our outdoor recreation. Thank you. We'll move on to our last question. What is your favorite or event or tradition on campus? Again, starting with Ames Community College. Can you go ahead and repeat the question? I'm sorry. Sure. What is your favorite event or tradition on campus? Um, all right. So the favorite tradition would be um, that we typically do in our orientation for our students and we allow them to go ahead and walk around and meet the different clubs we have. Um, it's something that I enjoy teaching our students to know and it's typically every semester. Um, that way they can get a little bit feel of our campus. Um, and we also let them know that they can visit other campuses as well since we do have, like I mentioned, five campuses. Thank you. On to our next institution, the University of Northern Colorado. I'm sorry, Dave, isn't this the question we just answered? I'm sorry, it is. Let's go to the next question. We'll give uh, 
We'll give our we'll give Ames College another chance here. Give an interesting or fun fact about your school. All right, thank you. That's why I was asking if it was the same question. But um, so an interesting fact about our school is that our mascot is Artie. Um, Artie, um, the Aardvark. He is an Aardvark, and we do have a mascot, even though we don't have um, a soccer team or uh, any athletic team. But we do have a mascot still. Thank you. Up next, University of Northern Colorado. Yeah, one thing that I think is fun is we used to have a big reflecting pool on campus in front of our residence halls. And the tradition was that you would throw first year students into this reflecting pool. Um, and one year they accidentally threw the president of the university into the reflecting pool. Um, and since then the tradition has not been carried on. Um, I think that ended back in the early 1900s though. So it's been a while since we've, since we've done this tradition and there is no longer a reflecting pool on campus either. All right, we're on to the University of Colorado at Boulder. Yeah, so I'll just give two interesting ones. So the first one is we're the only university that has a buffalo shaped swimming pool. Um, so, you know, surprise, surprise. And then the other one is we have a, a NASA um, space museum in our original building, Old Main. So that's something that's really cool and worth checking out. Thank you. On to Colorado Mountain College. I will kind of piggyback off what Andrew said. One of our unique programs that is only offered at Colorado Mountain College is our ski area operations program. So um, think, you know, snow creation, trail creation, driving those big snow cats. And then of course, I will just reiterate that um, we are a little bit unique with having 11 campuses across 12,000 square miles of the Rocky Mountain region. Thank you. Up next, the Colorado School of Mines. Yeah, I think a fun fact about us is obviously School of Mines gives you all an indication about what we were founded for originally to kind of be that premier mining institution. And so as an ode to our mining past, our diplomas for graduating students aren't actually paper. They're actually silver diplomas. So everyone gets a etched silver diploma when they graduate from School of Mines. Last but not least, Adam State. So Adam State started in 1921 as a teaching school um, and we're named after John Adams. So we're about to hit 100 years of being an institution in a few months. So that's pretty exciting for us right now. Very good, exciting indeed. And with that, that will conclude today's fair. We wanna thank all of our panelists for the great information, the enthusiasm. We'd ask our students to go ahead and fill out the quick four question survey so we can improve these sessions for the future. Again, another reminder to sign up for additional sessions for institutions of your liking. You can do that on the website. Lastly, again, a reminder that the presentation will be available at strivescan.com slash RMACAC. Thanks again to all our presenters and students. Hope everyone has a great night. Bye-bye now.